Alright guys, so a couple intake manifold mods or things I'm going to take off. Uh, see this line right here? It's a hard line. It's going into this vacuum area. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off and I'm going to plug it. We are going to delete this one right here. This was some smog stuff. Uh, that is going to go bye bye and yeah, I'm going to plug that one off as well. This guy right here, this one's going to stay. We're going to keep this one. That's what I've heard. Uh, apparently this goes to the return right here on your um, evap charcoal canister, right? So that one's going to stay and I'll hook that one up. Uh, and then, yeah, modifying obviously the uh, dipstick tube and all of that stuff, that is going to stay. So another thing I'll replace real fast is this gasket for the intake manifold. Now this one is actually like, I think it's two pieces. I got a brand new one. So we'll go ahead and uh, grab that and uh, just make sure this whole area is just kind of cleaned up and nice and good looking. Uh, there's a part number on these guys. Uh, I will have a link down below for this as well. So I really like the gaskets on BMWs. They're kind of like, you know, one directional, which most gaskets are, but I don't know. They just, they just fit in very nicely and uh, yeah, they're just good quality stuff. The way these engines go together is just, it's very nice. I don't know. That's all I have to say. It's it's freaking quality. I'll probably even just cap these off just to make them look a little bit better. Since this is for mock-up purposes, we're just gonna go ahead and throw the intake back on. I am using an S52 or M52 intake manifold on this particular swap. You can use an M50 manifold. It may be slightly different for the dipstick modification when you do this particular intake manifold compared to an M50, but for the most part, this is what you're gonna do. So we're using an E34. So being that we have a front sump instead of a rear sump now, we have to modify the dipstick tube. So let's go ahead and do that and make this happen. You're gonna need an E34 dipstick tube dipstick and well that's pretty much it for this also an e34 oil pan but if you haven't watched my previous video on how to swap that out i recommend to uh check that video out and i have a whole guide on what to do for swapping an s52 or any m50 engine into your e30 so today's video is sponsored by petrol box and in today's petrol box we got a couple awesome items we got some mcguire's interior detailing wipes those will come in handy um as always we got the little contents that it shows you everything that you can get here and for this particular month it looks like you could win a fast and furious charger which is pretty sweet also you can be entered to win a set of uh rotiform wheels if you get the golden ticket so that is pretty cool too all right we got a little theme here we got a uh, brian's little uh what is this thing this is a uh, Eclipse. Why did I forget the name of it? Because those are horrible cars. Uh, let's see here. Then we got the 30 piece tile tire tackle kit. This is really cool. This is a nice little uh, handy thing to have in your car or have in your garage. You can repair some tires with that. That is awesome. We got a little petrol box air freshener. Super cool. The S3 magazine. This thing is a really nice magazine. It has a good feel to it and uh, I've gotten a few of these from these guys every once in a while this is not an all the time thing but you know every once in a while you do get one of these s3 mags got a cool little petrol box pin another pin with uh you know Brian's logo if you will from the eclipse which is pretty cool a little fast and furious theme an absolute must we got some sour patch candy this is a far from stock t-shirt little like sugar skull helmet type of thing pretty cool a shirt far from stock in the front just so you guys know how you get your sizing is you tell them when you sign up what size t-shirt you are and what size glove you are sometimes you'll get a hat certain stuff like that it's pretty dang cool also we got the ride of the month right here which i just put all of those on my toolbox as you can see they've been a long time sponsor of the channel so I'll leave a link down to petrol box down in the description. If you use my code wrench on, you get a discount at checkout. So thanks a lot for sponsoring the video guys. Let's get back to this oil dipstick tube modification video. So I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna flatten this out and see about bending it to this mount that's nearby. Yeah, nice and flat now. See how that is? Cool. Okay. So I'm gonna put it back up here. Check this out. I was gonna do like a little extension mount thing, okay? 
and I didn't. So this dipstick is all the way in. I pounded this piece flat. Then what I did is I made a little bit of a bend. So you can see it's kind of offset. Well, it's at an angle, so it's out, up, that sort of thing. And what that did is it aligned it with this bolt hole right here to where I think it looks pretty clean. Um, you know, it's at a little bit of an angle, but like really would you ever even know if I didn't show you? Probably not. You'd probably never even freaking see that thing and never have any idea that it was like that. So uh, with that, all I got to do is grab the bolt that was in this little guy right here. And look at that. It's like a freaking OE fit, all right? So super, I think, super clean. Let me know down below if you guys think that's clean. I think that's clean installation. I didn't have to uh, change this or anything like that. I didn't have to do anything. Maybe I'll hit it with some paint. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't look too bad to me. It's going to be mounted up solid from the front. Look at that. You don't even notice what's really going on there. So that's cool. But now I need to kind of figure out that return line, all right? This one here returned into the oil pan. We have this little this little piece. I've got to cut this off. We're going to cut this off with a bandsaw real quick. And then I need to modify this too. Now, the two before it was kind of coming in like right around, I don't know, like right around here. So we'll kind of do the same sort of situation. Uh, mark the tube drill a hole, put a bunch of grease on there so it doesn't get like super bad. Clean it out afterwards. I don't want to clean this up with any sort of like um, brake cleaner because that's bad when you're welding it. It makes like poisonous gas, not cool. So I'll do that afterwards and make sure it's super clean. But to me, I think this little spot right here is pretty cool. Using the center punch here to punch a little hole. That way I know where to drill the pilot. See that little hole right there? The dipstick out. That way we don't drill into the dipstick. Just drilling a 9 16 hole here. I'm gonna cut the little tube now off of the S52 dipstick. As far as this goes, I want stig, tick, arc, lift. I got 1 16 rod. This welder's pretty cool. This is the Multimatic 215. Uh, and then as far as my material thickness goes, now I'm gonna have to bump that down. I'm thinking this is probably 16 gauge. 20 is too small and it looks like right there is 18 gauge. So I'm thinking we're at 18 gauge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bump that to 18, which is what we're at. You can mess with the amperage a little bit, but I'll be using 1 16th rod. It says about 56 amps. Uh, ideal is like 50. So I guess I'll put it at 50. I don't really wanna burn through this stuff. I set up the piece right here to weld. So as you can see, it looks like that. Uh, notched it, grooved it out. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of weld this up. Uh, hopefully this is good enough to get a ground on. Put my leathers on right here. Got my welding hood. Got some Matig gloves. Um, gotta turn the gas on here. So I've got a nice sharp tungsten in here, ready to go. Ready to tack stuff up. Let's see what that uh, gas does. All right, perfect. So that's good to start right there. Yeah, that is great. Can I try? So you can see, I got that thing all welded up there. Looks good. Uh, now it will go into place. So that is cool. Um, and now it's gonna have the drainage that it needs to uh, work on the engine. So as far as the dipstick goes, uh, this thing is fully modified now. 
got the little o-ring on there i'm gonna go ahead and uh, insert this i'm gonna take my little bolt off and drop it um, i can insert this thing all the way into the oil pan see how that lines up right there with that bolt hole 10 millimeter on this this thing's fully seated look at that just like it was meant to be on this engine all right there's that return line i painted it up check this out guys just boop and oh yeah that's all it needs look at that a little quick bend and that thing is returning and looking fresh now i can go ahead and put my dipstick in the dipstick tube this thing is all set and ready to go now i'm gonna rip off the uh intake and this but you know i wanted to get it modified before i threw it into the car as you can see super super clean setup very nice looks like oe and it will perform like oe so i am stoked on that